Boom, boom. This is Kendra, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. All right, we got this soul land reloaded up today, so we got a bunch of stuff to cover. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, so we have a Master Forge event up. As you remember, I, I said in my last video that we would probably be seeing a Master Forge event sometime soon. Well, we do have seen it. <laughs> so it's been up for a few days now. So it's going to be up for another two days. So it was up, started up yesterday. Uh, and it running into that. I've already had actually pretty good luck. Got quite a few of the uh, ice cores. So uh, they got a bunch of different, uh, you know, a bunch of different things. It's just depending on what you want to get. You get you get charged for all the SS triple S's. Um, as you can see, a little bit of everything's you know. Uh, I have sort of kind of had my eye on these because. <laughs> It would be a good idea to actually make uh, a set of triple S. It'd be really nice if I could pull out a triple S set. So I'm sort of leaning towards these. So I'm really going to hump on this thing for the next couple of days uh, and just run a bunch of them to see if I can get a lot of uh, a lot of the actual um, course so that I can actually do these. I said we'd probably start seeing some of the triple S, uh, but the only you know if you. Do you want to try to get a whole set of them, if at all possible? It's nice the fact that it's only 80 instead of 130. But, of course, you're going to see these in smaller amounts. And, but this is what is interesting. This is a rather large amount. Okay, so, you know, if you can get, you can only get four of them, unfortunately. So that's going to give you, uh, so four times 40 is 280. And you only need... 80, 3 eighths, 240. So as you can see, uh, so, you know, 40, 80, 120, 160. So that's going to get you 160 baggage there. Then you're going to have to start picking into these. But they have enough here that you can actually complete a set. Okay, but you're going to have to get a lot of them. You're going to need a lot of ice core to do it. But, you know, you want to try to do a whole set because you can't mix and match. So basically, if you can only get like one or two of them, well, you're going to have to put those towards um, something else because you, you can't put triple S's and combine them with SS pluses or S's in the Immortal Herbs. So you won't get the passive effect. But if you did, uh, if you did participate uh, in the event that we had, the Fiesta that we had back a while ago, um, you might already have 50 of these. Okay, so that makes it a lot easier. Okay, already having 50 of them. Okay, these are left over. I already made a whole new set uh, that I showed you in. I think it might have been the last, I think it might have been the last video uh, where we did a little herbology, as I called it. Um, so we'll see what I can come up with, you know, do a video here in a day or two, let you know how far I am. But I'm definitely looking for that. If you're not interested in going the route of the herbs, there are some other things that you can buy, okay? Standard resource exchange, you definitely want to look into this. Okay, so there's just a lot of really good stuff uh, in terms of here, okay? It's going to be up for another day, so there's no rush. You can also purchase them if you want to uh, and do the exchange, which is what, I, as I said, I'll be looking for these possibly going herbs. If, you're, if you don't, you can go, uh, the prices for the SS Plus herbs are really cheap right here, so this would be easily uh, obtainable. You also got some Marshall Souls if you want to go Marshall Souls as well. They're fairly cheap as well, too. So there's some pretty good stuff in here. Uh, Benefits Exchange. This is one that you can look at, too, if you want to go for a little bit higher. Uh, get a bunch of stuff in one uh, one flack, as you can see. Um, here's one for, this is uh, SS Plus. This is not Triple S, but uh, it's nice. And this right here is something that you don't get, which is the Elemental Stone, which is used in the uh, Elemental Attributes in the Celestial Blessing. You don't get these very often. Uh, and then last but not least is a uh, uh, top up if you want to get some on that. Okay, so uh, yeah, but it's definitely something to look at. Okay, you get the charcoal inside of the Slaughter City. Just run, refresh that. You can refresh it three times a day to get the charcoal. The water, um, Sea God. Okay, and then of course the wood is just from sweeps and from. Uh, the arena and the grandmaster match okay so that's where you get all three of the items so definitely something that you might want to look into uh second we've got a uh hidden weapon up triple s hidden weapon um 
you can actually get you get 10 from the actual login rewards on the first uh, the first day which is right here okay so you get 10 there you also get 30 here so that's going to give you 40 but you have to use wood this is the same wood that is used inside of the master forge so keep that in mind um, I went ahead and as you can tell I've been sweeping a lot because I was able to get all 30 of these okay so you're looking at about 240 wood to get all of these but that's going to give you 30 plus the 10 40 uh, and then of course there is the uh, hidden weapon sale and you'll be able to get 30 here so 70 is what you should be able to uh, walk away with from this event and you're going to need 90 okay so we're going to come up 20 short so they should be having some other events where you'll be able to get some shards for this uh, but try to get what you can i mean it's 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 another hidden weapon so even at their base values they're almost uh at their base values they're better than ss's even a max.ss uh, and they're better than most of the ss pluses as well too some because they throw on more talents so if you can do any type of uh, adjustment is all um uh, you can usually end up getting a little bit more out of the triple S's than you can on the others. So it's something that you definitely want to consider doing. And it's the Amulet of Sacrifice. It's got a pretty good set to it. Okay. Uh, consumes 10% of the whole Masters uh, with the highest hit point. Okay. Uh, absorbs all damage. Excellent for a tank. Okay. Uh, takes damage equivalent to attack every six seconds upon inflicting additional damage. Whereas attack will be dealt with damage to a single target. So it throws, you're throwing uh, a little bit of uh, damage reduction as well as a little bit of damage plus. Uh, and as you can see, the reason it's good, you should just get a lot of beneficial, beneficial attributes from it. Uh, where on the SS's and the SS Plus, you might get just one or two. They usually throw three or four at you, uh, which makes it a little bit more uh, valuable, even if it's not leveled up. And, of course, you will be working on level up in the future. As we go into the SPs, we're going to start seeing a little bit more uh, options for these shards. I've already been able to make a pretty good dent inside of... Uh, to, uh, uh, I've got this at four okay so it's you know you, you you can get the shards for it but this was the first one entered okay so um you know all four of them i assume they're going to enter four just like they did the ss pluses so my assumption is that this will be the last one before they start switching to sps okay so I'll go ahead and make that a point to look at of course remember the uh, the treasure uh always remember to get the tasks and do these this is just from soul beast I actually hit this pretty good. As you can see, I got quite a bit of uh, shards and whatnot uh, for different stuff on the Rob. This is probably the most successful one I've had in a while. Okay, so that's up as well. Um, time limited events. We have the active wheel up, as always, for the weekend. Make sure that you do it Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay, so don't forget to do that. Make sure you flip, flip it up. Uh, the weekly gift bags we already went over the last one, but they were actually pretty good, so I went ahead and got all those. Uh, and that's pretty much uh, all that's going on at this particular time. Okay? Uh, everything else is pretty much normal. Uh, but the amulet is up for one more day, and the forge is up for another day as well. So make sure you get all those ice cores, especially if you want to make a triple S herb set. Okay? So just, you know, sweep as much as you can. Uh, run through the Sea God Island as much as you can to get the water uh, and of course uh, Slaughter City Right here just reset this is all you have to do just reset it Okay 403 for two pontiffs. That's not a very good price considering I've got hundreds of those not exactly sure what's up with that I do a one-click sweep Okay, and as you go through these, see, I got one already. So, you know, not everyone's going to get you, but you, you generally get, you know, you generally get quite a bit of them. So just uh, sweep it.
I just leave those. I don't go with the others because you really don't get much in terms. Of, I've already got bre enough breakthrough stones to max out of pretty much everything I've got, so there's really no use for it. So you can, and then you can reset it again, sweep it again, and get some more charcoal if you're running low. Okay, but you got to get the wood and the water too. So there's no use, you know, keeping that in mind um, when you're actually doing the first. Of course, keep in mind that you need to have all of these. Okay, so the woods going to have to do a bunch of sweeping here this evening. Uh, but I want, yeah, I definitely want to try to get uh, enough of the ice cores so that I can make a triple S set for herbs. That would be an awesome set to put on um, uh, Hugh eventually after I put put a little bit of you know refinement into it. I'm building up my refining materials right now because um, I went ahead and tried to see if I could max out one of the herbs to make it an SS plus herb into an SS. Uh, that was not accepted. You can't take an S herb and make it into SS plus. But it doesn't look like there's a way to take an SS Plus and make it into a triple S. So the only way to get that is, of course, purchasing them. That's why they have them. Okay, so keep that in mind. And remember that uh, the base, you know, a, a triple S herb set that's base triple S is going to be a little bit better than um, uh, another base. You know, like, for instance, let's just use an S. So you got an S and then you make that S into SS Plus. The SS Plus herbs that are base SS Plus herbs are going to be a little bit better than those S herbs that you ranked up to the SS Plus because the SS Plus herbs have better base stats to begin with. So keep that in mind. It's best to get the new ones. I didn't think you'd be able to take an SS Plus into an S, a triple S because they were offering triple S herbs. Generally, if they offer the herb to be purchased or you can get it inside of a chest, they usually don't allow you to um, uh, level it up that much. I mean, you could take you could take the S's to SS Plus, but it wasn't an SS Plus herb. It was always an S herb. So, But I, I noticed that they since they were offering triple S herb set, they probably weren't going to let us take our SS's to SS, or our SS Pluses to triple S. Um, which is not surprising. Okay, they are offering to do that on your soul bones because, of course, soul bones do not have any type of uh, the, the, the soul bones. There are no uh, soul bones increases. There are extended bones. Extended soul bones do have an SS Plus, and they did give us a set of those, or they gave us some shards huh, uh, for a set of those, I should say. Um, when we did that festival event a while back, right here this is a um this is the triple s set for uh an extended soul bone set the left and the right terra claw set it's called the terra claw set so um but haven't really offered they just had, they gave us a, a, a little bit of those shards you can actually uh make one because they give you 30 shards and it's only 25 but i'm just deciding to wait and see what shards they offer before I make a determination as to which one to spend it on. Okay, I mean, it, you know, I assume they're going to start giving shards for these eventually. So I want to make sure I, I, I can complete a set without just making one right now. And it turned out to be the shards, you know, can't get any shards for that particular side. Or if I get really lucky and the shards are, are not choosable, but you just get, a, a, you know, some shards, but you don't can't choose. And then I end up choosing the same shards that I actually got the ones for. So I'm just waiting to see. And once I can make a set, I'll go ahead and use them. Uh, so, yeah, but that's up. So definitely want to get in there and knock all that stuff out. Uh, Devil Whales, of, of course, up as well, as it is Friday. Uh, but other than that, everything's pretty much the same. Probably going to see uh, the second event. Uh, the, well, it should be the final event for Hugh. The first event for the new uh, character. Probably going to be sometime... I'm not sure if it's going to happen in the middle of the week or prob it's probably going to happen more towards the end of the week, probably over the weekend. Uh, I'm going to be out of pocket next weekend, so it's going to be really difficult, but uh, I'll definitely make do uh, and, and see exactly what I can get done. Um, but th that's probably when you're going to see Hugh's final event. You definitely want to make sure you participate in it so that you can create her. You should have every, you should have pretty much everything you need except for the remaining 10 shards to offer you 20 but you're only you should only need 10 to actually make her 
Yeah, 121 to 30. But the, the and the Soul Master sale, they'll have 20 shards, or it'll be a chest that you can buy. That'll have 20 shards in it. Um, you only need 10. But you might want to go ahead and throw the remaining 10 shards to start working on her divine skill. Definitely going to be worth it. Uh, she is a beast. Uh, and she is, uh, the, will be the most powerful character in the game to date. Okay. Um, and the one right after her should be the second most powerful character in the game. Now, don't confuse this. Don't confuse Global with the Chinese server. The Chinese server, the Asian server, they already got SPs out. <laughs> of course. So, But on the Global server, she will be the most powerful character in the game, uh, followed by the second character after, which should be uh, the second most powerful in the game. But we'll have to see. I'm not exactly sure what they're going to do at this particular point, so it'll be uh, news for me as well. All right, so that's all I got. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Uh, once you've subscribed, click on the bell, and you'll get notified each time I drop a video. This is Kenrear coming at you from the corner, signing out.